Florida Governor Ron DeSantis is visiting the Texas border with Texas's Governor Greg Abbott. The two say the ripple effect of the crisis could cause will affect other states. And former State Senate President Mike Iridopoulos joining us right now. Uh, Mike, good morning. Thanks for sticking around, by the way. So we know there's always criticism uh, if he goes to a border like this, like stay in Florida. But the governor's saying, look, this is something that is going to impact us here in Florida and already is. That's correct, Ryan. What we have a situation right now, as you know, last month alone, another 188,000 people came across the border illegally. And when interviewed, some of these folks, 70 percent, 7 0, 70 percent of the people said they were bound for Florida, just like seems like everybody is uh, these days for Florida. And so Ron DeSantis said, look, we got, we got to stop it before it ever gets to the United States, let alone Florida. And so he has sent over 50 uh, police officers over to uh, the border. They are actually doing work on the border. According to the latest numbers, they've stopped over 2,800 people from entering the United States illegally. Uh, and, and what Ron DeSantis is trying to say is, look, one of the basic responsibilities of government is to protect the border, protect the people. And as we know, that's a rampant crisis that's only growing worse month by month. Let's shift gears, talk about the economy. I was in the tourist district this weekend, Mike. It is busy. The Ford economy has bounced back in a big way. Revenues are up. But where do we stand right now? Is when now we have this risk of another surge. You talk about rising cases in Florida. No, it's, it's a real concern, no doubt. But I was actually at the airport last night coming home from a trip, and I've never seen the Orlando International Airport more crowded in my life. Uh, the, the, every parking sp spot was filled. It was a remarkable time. Everyone is coming to Florida, and the revenues of Florida show that. The estimates are that the last month alone, we uh, the state got about, a, about $500 million more than anticipated, over almost $4 billion uh, last month alone. And so the revenues are up because people want to come to Florida. Uh, let's hope this uh, latest strain with COVID is just a variant and, and not the predictable future. But it just shows that, as I've said for months now, get the vaccine. It's common sense and it will reduce the threat of you getting this horrible virus. And uh, it's something we all need to do in a smart way. And, and I think it will help propel Florida forward as we've been doing the last few months. Yeah, local leaders pressing uh, same message as well. Let's finish with this. We talked about leading up to the auto insurance bill. It got passed and the governor vetoed that. So interesting dilemma here. He got a lot of pushback. But did lawmakers not know that the governor wouldn't favor this? Or did they find out as he moved forward that there was a lot of people that were against this because it could raise rates? It was that bottom line. The governor saw that in a very tenuous time as we're recovering this economy, so we just mentioned that good news. The last thing we need is, or at this time, is higher insurance rates. He said no to this. Legislators also recently received a report once they fully did documentation on the bill's potential effects, and they saw this. So a lot of legislators actually called the governor and say, look, now that we have more information, please go ahead and veto that bill. That's exactly what the governor did, and they'll look at this bill again next year. Yeah, Mike, I love living in Florida. I would not say our auto insurance rates are something you sell across the state. We're pretty high here for sure already. We absolutely are. All right, Mike, thanks for sticking around. Have a great Monday. Always good to talk with you. Great to see you, Ryan. Have a wonderful week. Thank you. That is former State Senate President Mike Caradopoulos breaking down the news.